Next in the tank is a better way to travel in style. Sharma, and this is my fiance and co-founder, James Baker. We're from Oakland, California, and we're seeking $200,000 in exchange for 15% of our company. Sharks, do any of you remember the perils of commercial travel? Mile-long sprints through the terminal to make your flight? Heavy bag on your shoulders and back weighing you down? <laughs> or death gripping your luggage and bag handle to try to keep it all balanced together? Not to mention, I keep my prized possessions in my personal bag. And let's just say, I have a lot of prized possessions. <laughs> but do I have to carry this huge bag through the airport all day? Naturally, my practical, lovely lawyer fiance suggests a boring bungee strap looking thing to take the load off. <laughs> no thanks. Those things do not make me feel put together and they definitely don't go with my airport outfit. <laughs> if only there was something functional and stylish for the modern traveler out there. Well, now there is. Introducing the Cinta Travel Belt, the world's most stylish and functional out of bag strap that secures your personal bag to your carry-on luggage. The travel belts take the weight off your shoulders, making your trips more comfortable and chic as you get from gate to getaway and back again. Using the travel belt really is as simple as slide, cinch, and go. So sharks, who's ready to help us literally and figuratively, but mostly literally, secure, secure the, the bag. bag. <laughs> so we have some product in front of us here. Yes. Oh, <laughs> You have an assortment of our best-selling products. We actually monogrammed our money maker for you. Wow. It's very heavy duty. It's very quality. It reminds me almost of like a seatbelt in a car. Totally. It's that thick and heavy and, and durable. Will you tell us a little about your background? It's a bit about me. I grew up to start homeless. I'm the oldest son of a family of six. Uh, you were successful if you didn't go to jail and you got a job, any job would do. Wow. You were a success. Amazing. What I did have was uh, two parents who never let me feel sorry for myself because of my circumstances. They never let me use that as an excuse for my behavior, for my appearance, or for my ambition. I literally went from uh, 16, we had just got off the streets into Section 8 housing. 18, I was in college, the first of the family to go. And then by 21, I was at Harvard Law School. Oh my gosh, good for you. I'll do that as well. Flash forward a couple of years, I'm working as an attorney at a great firm, and I'm stable, I'm comfortable, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, you know what? My parents never had the luxury to take any career risk, to take risks at all. Every decision they made was, how do we pay the bills today to feed our kids? And I thought, you know what? I could take a chance and still hopefully land on my feet afterwards. You know, this started out as a box of belts, you know, but every day developing business, seeing the pride Ash had for it uh, was really motivating and, and kept us going. Ash, what's your background? My background, so I grew up in San Francisco um, from two immigrant parents. We lived in a one bedroom apartment for most of my childhood because they thought investing in our education was the most important thing. Unfortunately, I wasn't that great at school. I <laughs> was thinking in Spanish and speaking in English, so I struggled. The fact that I'm here like presenting and speaking out loud is like such a pinch me moment because I, I hated raising my hand in class. So I knew things weren't gonna come as easy. I knew that I was gonna have to hustle. So fast forward, I went to college to study marketing. And since then I've been working at some CPG brands, um, many of them which are startups, and that startup experience has really helped while we are trying to build our own mm -hmm. company. Tell us what your sales were since you started. Give us kind yeah. of the ramp. Uh, so 2019, we had 5,000 in sales. 2020, we had 32,000 in sales, then travel shut down. 2021, we finished with about 250,000 in sales, 
And then year to date, we are at 830,000. Ooh, that's new. Where are you selling? Are you direct to consumer? DTC. Or are you in yeah. your D2C only? Yeah. So walk us through the stack. What does it cost you to make? What is your customer acquisition cost? What do you sell it for? I've, I've, I've looked at all the pieces. Beautifully made, by the way. Thank Stylish. You. Really kind of fits with my persona, fashionista. <laughs> right, so, you know, wears uh, the same suit every single show. It's yeah. So for our flagship product, the travel, the original travel belt, uh, we make it for four dollars and sixty-one cents landed at the warehouse. We sell it for forty dollars. What's the customer acquisition cost? Yeah. So the customer acquisition costs vary between twenty-seven fifty and twenty-nine bucks on an average order value of about $61.50. Mm. So it's high, it's definitely something we wanna get down, but we've still been able to grow. What is your strategy in terms of channels? Are you gonna go into wholesale? Like, How do you envision yeah, growing? That's why we're here. Um, we want to, to get into retail. We want to get into airport. Stories. Yeah. Um, are you the only team members? We are. The, it's just us, just the two. So of you. it's just us two. We're still working full time to pay the bills and also prove that if we're hungry enough to grow this thing with jobs, we can grow even further mm -hmm. without those jobs. I would just like to say, like, I'm super impressed with what you guys have built, but it's a little out of my wheelhouse as an investor. I think I'm out, but I just I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you so it. Congratulations on what you've accomplished. I, I think it's an amazing business. It just doesn't fit really to my strengths. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. But congrats. Thank you, Mark. We appreciate it. You blow me away and amaze me. Thanks, Mark. You've done a fabulous job. It's great quality. Thank you. But I actually have a, a partner in a business that makes something that is similar. But I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Lori. I'm sorry. I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate it. Uh, what I've come to so much appreciate about any hardship uh, is they make the best entrepreneurs. Yep. I can remember in uh, grammar school not being able to learn to read myself till I was barely starting in seventh grade. I sometimes even think my whole career has been one long attempt to prove I'm not stupid, as insecure as that might sound. But what a gift it is to have an early struggle, to come through it and then to play it out in the real world. I think you have the ambition and the know-how to take it where you want it. I think you're already past the first hump, which is the hardest hump in building a business. I got I gotta say, Barbara, I don't know that it first is the hardest. We could continue stumbling forward and be successful at some level, but I do know that the right partner can make the difference in years of mistakes, pitfalls, yeah. and slower growth. What we need all more right, than... All right, all right, you sold me. I'm going to make you an offer. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good talker. I'm going to give you $200,000, but I'm going to give you half of it in a credit line, half of it in cash up front for 33% of your business. Okay. Whoa. Thank you for the offer. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that smile just dropped really, really quick. Yeah. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> we can talk at the same time. Well, there is one shark left. So, yes, there is. Uh, I Chihuahua Caramba. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I've been wanting to so, say that. I find your model right now really attractive. So, here's my offer. I'll do the 200000 I want 20%, but this is definitely a royalty deal because there's no other way to get my capital back. But the royalty is going to be $4 a unit till I get my wow. capital back, wow. okay? Then it drops wow. to 50 cents in perpetuity. You can You're counter, allowed to counter, too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thinking. Barbara, would you do 25% with the same terms otherwise? Well, let me ask you, would Ashley throw in James as my third husband after your third husband? <laughs> Take him. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, that's a term. Ashley, that was fast. <laughs> that would be a deal, damn it. <laughs> do we have a deal or not? Do we have a deal? For 25? For 25? Yeah. We have a deal. We have a deal. <laughs> and chances are based on an age difference that you might not even have to make good on that deal. <laughs> there you go. Come here, Prada girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Good luck. Bye. We got a deal with Barbara. We love Barbara. Love, love Barbara. So I have to give my fiance away, but. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth the equity. It's worth the equity. <laughs>